Here, the proof is based on the commutative property provided by Euclid, the Greek mathematician of antiquity. You can access that by clicking the link in the monitor or in the description below. First of all, what is the associative property in addition? The associative property in addition is expressed by the following mathematical expression. The addition of A and B plus C is equal to A plus the addition of B and C. Here, the addition is expressed by a pair of bracket. The operation stated inside a bracket should be prioritized. Here, A and B and C are arbitrary numbers or any numbers. To understand this property easily, let us use certain numbers as examples. If you are familiar with the associative property, you can skip this part. Let us take A as 2 and B as 3 and C as 4. Then, let us apply these number into the left side of the expression. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Thus, the result of the left side of expression is 9. Next, let us apply these number into the right side of the expression. The operation stated inside a bracket should be performed first. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Then, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. The right side of expression resulted in the same result as the left side, which is 9. This is a demonstration of the associative property in addition. The question is whether or not such associative property is preserved in any numbers or arbitrary numbers and not limited to particular numbers. As far as the conclusion is concerned, the answer is yes. The associative property is preserved in any numbers or arbitrary numbers. The proof of this property will be provided in the next slides. So please stay tuned and subscribe. Before that, please support us through Patreon or PayPal or the purchasing of our book on Amazon. Find the link in the description. The associative property in addition is often expressed in the following equation. Let us take this equation as equation 1. Then, let us focus on the left arm of the equation. The operation inside the bracket must be prioritized. However, since the bracket is located in the most left of the arm, then the bracket can be eliminated. This is because, in this case, the bracket did not change the order of operation. Thus, the elimination of the bracket in the left arm gives us equation 2. Now, let us focus to the right arm of the equation. Here, the positions of the term A and the bracketed terms are interchangeable. The interchanging is possible due to the commutative property in addition which the proof had been provided by Euclid. You can access that by clicking the link in the monitor or in the description below. The interchanging gives us equation 3 as shown in this slide. Let us focus on the right arm of the equation. The operation inside the bracket must be prioritized. However, since the bracket is located in the most left of the arm, then the bracket can be eliminate. This is because, in this case, the bracket did not change the order of operation. This gives us equation 4, as shown in this slide. Let us focus on the terms C and A of the right arm of the equation. Using the commutative property of addition, as previously mentioned, the positions of terms 
C, and A, are interchangeable. This interchanging gives us equation 5, as shown in this slide. Similarly, the same interchanging can be applied to terms B and A. This interchanging gives us equation 6, as shown in this slide. As can be understood from the equation, the expression in the left arm perfectly match that in the right. This means the associative property in addition has been proved. Summary From the discussion above, it can be understood that the associative property in addition is proved for arbitrary numbers or any numbers. Please support us by buying our books or by donation through Patreon and PayPal. The links are provided in the description. Our books can be obtained in electronic medium and as printing books. You can send the books as gifts for your beloved ones. Do not forget also to subscribe, 